What is going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Today I'm finally gonna take out the electric converted YZ250 out in the street to get an idea how fast this thing actually goes. I've only had a chance to ride it in some trails, so it hasn't had the room to fully build up speed. I haven't even fully twisted the throttle and held it for a while yet. So we'll see how fast it goes. Judging by how easily it climbs hills on trails, I'm probably gonna guess around 40 to 45. It seems like it's geared more for torque. But we'll find out, maybe it touches 50, but I'd be pretty happy if this thing hits 45, honestly. I've got a Rylo 360 cam mounted on the handlebar, so I hopefully the mount doesn't break and I get some interesting footage for y'all. I've also got a Psych Plus GPS-based speedometer mounted on the handlebar to measure the speed for today. Let's go. All right, so we're starting with 82.3 volts, so it's relatively fully charged. All right, looks like it's reading now.
average max speed 58.8 miles an hour that's definitely exceeded the build goals for sure all right well i was not expecting that this bike goes 58.8 miles an hour on the medium setting so i have no doubt it could have hit 60 if i tucked and let it wind up for another 20 or 30 yards but i'm curious to see how fast it'll go on the torqueier setting which is setting two i don't know if that's actually more powerful or if it's just a different throttle curve we'll find out sometime soon so with a 15 tooth sprocket this thing has no problem climbing hills and whatnot and still being able to go on the street and hitting 60 miles an hour so I'm pretty happy with the setup. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions if you want to see a change in the setup besides the battery box being completed. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you like this kind of content, want to see more of the Project YZ or the TTR QS138 conversion or any of my other projects, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.